Hi, Chris here for Thank You Tech UK. We lose all our data. Can we stay cool or should we get into a room? Let's find out now. Let's plug in the disk we want as a sample, like so. Drive D. This is where I have all the files that I will use for tests. So I show you that they work. This one here works, no problem. We can close that. Uh, the AVI file. The video one. So as you can see, everything works. Excel file. Now we are going to try to install the disk drill. Let me go like so. It's better. Once you are here, I advise you to go to options. And you can see here, they ask you if you want to share anonymous app or not. For me, I do not want. You can even change if you want the location for your file. For me, I will leave it as it is. So I press, yes, it's correct. And eh? once you press OK, it comes back to here and uh, you can just put install. We let it do. While it does the setup, I show you about disk drill. Okay, so disk drill. Okay. Here we have it. You can download it from CNET if you want to. But not to worry, I will include the, the link in the description down below. So feel free to use it if you want to. Or you can go to Clever File here. Right. You have two types. Right. So if I upgrade to Pro, I'm installing it. Eh? As you can see here, uh, it will ask me for a restart. So we will do that later. I just minimize and this is for you to see. I mean, once you go to the website, you can note that there is a special promotion there. Oh, and they even give you a pop-up in case you missed it. The promotion right now, 30% uh, off the 12 hours here in my country. All right, or download the basic one. So I already download the basic. You saw me here, we install it, okay? So I close this one here. I will restart the computer and we come back once it's done. Okay, this is after the restart. I double click on the disk drill and then the application starts. Oh, and I have a pop up virus saying that this disk drill here is trying to make a changes. So I click on here and I select yes, because I want to change the actions and allow it on my device and I select yes. Okay, then I will restart again and see if it happens. So I close, restart, yes, again. And does it pop out? No. So uh, it's fixed and I will show you why uh, I authorize uh, this drill to make change to my drive, okay, uh, in a moment. So now you have the choice of reading the agreement here, uh, agreeing with it or uh, disagreeing, and it tells you what it will do. So, for ourselves, we agree. On this page here, uh, it tells you basically what you can do and uh, what d disk drills is about. All right, so I continue. You can pause if you want and read. All right. You remember a few minutes ago, I had to enable a window because it thought it was a virus. This is why. Okay. Uh, before you start, please consider enabling data protection. So if you want, you can simply enable it. Okay, and you, we don't have the pop-up here because I, I uh, enable it already. You can also, if you want, by uh, having this if you want to. Oh, I will select it and get started. So here we are. I put, you can see that everything from now on, uh, the first time, you will have view options and it tells you what to, what to do. If you want more details for this application, not to worry. There is a very good video made by uh, Mr. Bendy from Clever File. As I did say, you will find the link down below uh, with more details. For ourselves today, I will just concentrate on what I said at the start of the video, that I will format a disk on purpose to show you how good this piece of software is at recovering file. So you can put it got it, you can put it at three. Uh, you have a lot of options with this. I put it on the full screen and as you can see you have the data protection, you can even do backup if you want uh, and you have data recovery. So you have a lot of tabs. We will concentrate on this. Hmm. I select control 
or A on my keyboard, this select everything, and I did it. Oh, I know what I will do because if I do that, I can. I won't do that. What I will do is I go like so, and I will format. Okay, I do a format. I click start. Yes, it will erase everything. You saw there was that task. Let's do the quick format. It shouldn't take too long because I'm on a quick format. And there we are. Okay. So now here, there is nothing. I, we go to this drive. This is a drive that I erase everything. I advise you to go to the link of the video that I put down below for you to look. Now I will stay on the all recovery. Okay, you have the infos, you have everything. Recovery, search for lost dat data, and it would take a little while. Basically, you can stop the scanning, you can go back, uh, you can, if you want, start to look. Uh, here, it tells you that you can review the items, it can tell you that you can change the view if you want to. Uh, the view that I like myself, uh, it's uh, file and icons. And this is all the files that it can find. So what we will do is we will select. You can see it's still scanning, eh? and I can still go and uh, look at the file that it, it recovers. Eh? So look, you can see you cannot mess it up the first time. It tells you really everything. Here, basically, when you can see the reason why I change to file and icons is once you can see the account, sorry, once you can see the icon means that the file can be recovered. Okay, so you can see that this is a video. Uh, does it work? Yes, it works and it's still recovering. So basically, he will scan the, the whole drive. I will let it finish. And as you can see, there is four pictures, two video, one audio, three documents, three archives, and two others. If you go to the bottom here, you can even see that it says short scan results in Explorer. All right. And this, of course, it's available only with the pro version okay so you can upgrade now uh, you saw the prices earlier or you can if you already bought it uh, enter your activation code right so this is still the free version uh, you can see that it's we can use the filters if you want you have a few presets if you know uh, exactly what you are looking for uh, you can reset to default in case uh, now for the file, instead of choosing one, two, three, you can go here and select all, and then uncheck the one you do not want to recover. You can sort by name, by uh, modification dates. Even with a free version, there is a lot of you can do with this software, right? It's uh, finished pretty soon now, a few seconds to go and we are there. I will show you uh, how to save. It is advised not to save the file that you recover in the same medium that you are recovering the file from all right so it's done now i even let you know thank you very much now you can save the session if you want uh, if you want uh, i mean if you think you didn't recover all the file okay. one thing that i noticed right away is that the names are not there anymore uh, uh, all the name except this one here yeah that's the uh, only one who retain its name all the other the name has vanished you can do a search if you want for the file let's say i put the bank because that's the only one we have you will find it you can see now for a quick search if you have a lot of files and the metadata are not uh, corrupted then you, you can find your items uh, faster otherwise uh, you can go with a filter uh, let's say uh, at any times i can say in one day we have a few files, uh, any times, or even the size, if you know, right? So now it's time to recover the file. So this pop up once I put recover. Recover to 
he asks you to select. I will put it on the desktop. Okay. You can make a new folder if you want to, but I show you without. So here we put C user. You know that I show you in the on the desktop. I have nothing except the disk journal eh, for the time being. Right. So it says that the destination is con is confirmed and it looks good. Okay. This is another uh, safeguard because let's try uh, for me eh, to put it in the. Are we in the USB-D? Yes, we are. Okay, you can see what it says if you try to save on the same medium. Which is a very good thing, actually, even if you know it. Sometimes you may not know if, let's say, if you have more than one disk and you are not sure instead of exiting the app. So it's better to have it like that. I press OK. You can see. So I can return to the disk list if I want to. And this is where it brings me back. This is the session that I had. If you hover, hover over it, you can see it tells you what it was, All right? So I will close this. And here, basically, you have the found file. This is the reconstructed one and the one with the label, see what? Uh, with the label or oh, the label will uh, tell you what file is that what it is so I open this file assistant assets this is the file that we had before I open this one let's try to see if it works huh? this was the CPU Z and apparently it works So don't forget that I did format my disk before. Uh, this is nothing. Yeah. So you can see it works. Okay. So I have this here. Let's try to see. No. Let's try to see the audio. If it works. You recognize the sound there, guys? All right, I can stop it. <laughs> then I can try the pictures. Uh, yes, I put one each to see if uh, which one would be susceptible uh, not to be uh, easy to recover. So as you can see, so far so good. And even the PNG, it's able to be recovered. Uh, and the video, MP4s, there is this one here. Yes, it's it's normal. There was no sound eh, on this video. Not to worry. I choose a video without a sound. Now, I go back to uh, this one here. Document, PDF, and yes, that's a correct file. It is working with all the tabs. I go back to document. That's also working. This we went. I went to the. P, I go to the PDF, and yes, it's working as well. Right. So this is all working now. All the files that I had are working. The only things I have to do now is to rename them if I want to. Of course, I do want. Do not want those files because I have them already. Uh, I have to check because if you remember. I had one application on the file. Archives are not. Not this one. Found file. One file that we did not manage to recover was the application. Of course, I can always download it. So it's not an issue. Or if it's an application that uh, you want to keep, I advise you to just zip the file or with a WinRAR. So now that I'm done with this. I will simply uh, select the whole thing, delete it, and empty the recycle bin because I do not need them anymore. And that's about it. I hope this video was useful to you uh, and uh, you like it. You can do your YouTube things like subscribe. And if you want to be notified every time I post a new video, simply press the bell icon. However, if you do not like this video, 
simply leave a comment down below like this you will let me know <laughs> anyway stay safe guys and bye now